In today's fast-paced world, why settle for a regular clip? Add some speed ramping to give it a whole new vibe. Speed ramping instantly elevates your clip, making it more captivating. Speed ramping is widely used in vlogs and product promotions. It allows you to control the speed of the clip, whether it's slow or fast. In Filmora, you can easily use the speed ramping feature. Compare a normal clip without speed ramping to one with speed ramping and effects. I'll also show you a few more examples. Filmora offers pre-made presets for speed ramping, such as montage, hero moment, bullet time, jumper, flash in, and flash out. Additionally, you can utilize the custom option to create your own speed ramp preset. Now let's see how to shoot a clip for speed ramping. If you're making a product promo like shooting a supercar, it's better to shoot in one direction. Roll the camera from the top towards the downside, from the downside towards the upper side, or from right to left or left to right, so that in post-production, you can spend less time on editing. Let me show you how to create this type of catch clip using a speed ramp in Filmora in easy steps. Step one, first, place your music on the timeline. Then right-click on your music, and from Smart Edit Tool, select Beat Detection. It will add a small yellow marker on the beat. Now you can edit or create a speed ramp easily on beats. Step 2. Place your first clip onto the timeline and adjust the duration according to the beat marker, then place the second clip onto the timeline, go to the speed from the setting panel, then to Speed Ramp, and select Custom. Select the first note and place it on top, and the last one on top. Then select the middle node and place it at 0.5 times speed. Use these two nodes to adjust the clip duration to the beat point. On the bottom side, you will see an option of Save as Custom. Click on it and save the current speed graph so that you can use it on further clips. Now, place the further clips onto the timeline, select the saved speed ramp, and adjust the graph if required. Step 3. Now to make a smooth jump from one clip to another, we will use a transition. Go to the transitions, then from the fade and dissolve folder, apply the blur exposed transition, and make the transition for 12 frames only. Now place the same transition further and set the duration to 12 frames. Now to add blur between the transitions, go to the effects, then to Boris FX, and then to blur, and apply BCC directional blur on track 2, and keep the effect for 10 frames only. Then at the start, change the blur amount to 0 and on a keyframe. Then after 5 frames, change the blur amount to 20. And then after 5 frames, change the blur amount to 0 and set the angle to 0. Then copy the effect and paste it further and adjust the position. Step 5. Now place the adjustment layer on track 3, adjust the duration, and match it with the clip duration. Then go to the color and do some color adjustment along with sharpness. Once done, Render your project to see the preview. With Filmora, the possibilities are endless. Create your own version of the speed ramp effect in Filmora and share it with us. Download or update your Filmora version from the official website. If you're interested in visual effects and tutorials, check out filmora.wondershare.com. See you in the next one. Hey.